welcome to my first ever studio vlog. My name is Catherine. I'm the owner of Stitching Spirit. I'm an embroidery artist, I'm creative, and I've decided to do these vlogs to document this creative journey and my building of this business. But the main idea is that I want to inspire people, teach people, and teach people how embroidery is such a big healer. It's great for mindfulness and it's just a great skill to have. So within these vlogs, I'm going to show you what I do on a sort of day-to-day -day basis. Generally, it'll be like throughout a whole week. I don't know how often I'm going to do these, like release these vlogs, because obviously I've just started, so I'm going to see how it goes and see how, how much a week's worth of recording sort of turns into be. So it could be weekly, it could be bi-weekly, could be once a month. But yeah, so it's just going to be an insight into my studio, which is here in my house. I live in Newcastle. So it'll be me prepping designs, making stitch and stick and stitch packs and patterns, kits. And then eventually I will be doing stitching tutorials, which will be separate videos. And they will be just sort of teaching you how to do specific stitches, sort of embroidery techniques, tip top tips, things like that. So yeah, let's get into it. I have just got a delivery of some new small hoops and because I have just designed this, which is a new stick and stitch pack. It is basically decorative letters, so you can put them on your clothes. So you can put your initials on your clothes or you could put it on the back of a jacket. You could spell your name. So my task this week is to stitch some out, test them, because I haven't tested them yet, but gonna, I'm gonna test them by stitching them out onto a couple of hoops. I won't do all of them in hoops, but I'm, I do have one idea that I wanted to see if it was, if it would work. So I bought some old denim jackets from eBay and I thought if I could stitch all these like this on the back um, and then maybe just put like a little quote or something at the bottom just to say, you know, stitch your own initials, things like that, um, or name. And I also thought they would be good as a bit bigger, like initials in say a five inch hoop. So they'd be a bit bigger than this. So these, these are only about an inch, inch and a quarter high. Um, which in centimetres, I will tell you what that is because I work in inches, so that's about three and a half centimetres-ish. So I will do that. I need to make the patterns up for the five inch hoops and then I will show you my process of doing these. I've also got a delivery of some scissors, which is a restock. I need to put the packaging together. So I'll show you how I do that. And yeah, so let's get into it.
So as I've just cut all those out, I'm just going to show you my process of um, how I would set out Etsy pictures. I thought I'd take them now um, while I've got them all cut out before I sit and embroider them. And then I've got multiple pictures. So usually with the stick and stitch packs, because they're um, on white, I would use my darker wood background just so they're easier to see on the Etsy pictures. So I'll show you how I would normally set it up. So as you can see, I've put them on my um, darker wood background and then I'd use a ha usually have some sort of like plant or um, nature sort of foliage and then I would just place them in a nice satisfying way and then I would just take pictures and then I would take some other ones that are with like rulers so you can see how big they are yeah and that's how I would take them with this daylight ring as well So my initial idea is to write this on the back of the jacket. So it says, may your soul be filled with needle and thread. Obviously I'm missing a few letters that are repeated. So I'm gonna go print those off and then we'll stick them on and then we'll get stitching. Came back and it's like this. I wonder who that could have been. Kitty. Hmm? Is that you? Always causing trouble. Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky? Sometimes hides behind the clouds Maybe it's just like me A little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on pouring down When it's grey outside It really makes me wonder So I just want to go over how and why I picked these colours. So basically I'll be using black for the actual lettering just so it's really obvious what it says because obviously if you can't read it there's not a lot of point. Then I picked these greens. So I've picked four greens. I don't like to pick too many colours. I do have a bad habit of picking a lot of colours so I might try and only use three. Only because if you pick a lot of colours sometimes it doesn't all look... it looks a bit much. So I have been trying to use a few less colours, so I think four is a good amount because there is quite a lot of foliage and greenery within these designs. And then I've also chose this purple, which is a Steph Francis thread, which is a variegated thread. Basically they are hand dyed. Generally I try not to use hand dyed threads on stuff that I'd be washing quite a lot, but because this is a display thing it probably won't be washed very much and if it is it'll be hand washed only because sometimes the colors can run if you were going to use threads to 
like embroider clothing i would generally try and use dmc or anchor threads because generally they're more guaranteed that if you put them in the wash the the colors are sort of tested and they're i'm not sure what they put on them but they it, the, the colors don't run basically so these are all Steph francis threads so i've chose these for the colors so these will be for like the flowers and anything that requires colour. I don't know if you can see that. Again, they're all variegated. And then I've chosen a yellow as well, just so that if there's any like centres of flowers, I can use it for that. So those are the colours I will be using. I'll do a bit of a close-up shot just so you can see the colours a bit better. I'm going to be using a four inch hoop only because I don't want it to be too small because I don't like moving my hoop too much especially with these stick and stitch packs so I know that if I do a four inch hoop I can fit two of the letters inside and yeah this is my I'm going to use this needle binder I embroidered these myself these are all available I'll leave a link below but yeah let's get started Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. like me a little bit scared of heights why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside it really makes me wonder So it is now two days after you last seen me. Yesterday was a bit of a write-off because I had a bit of a nightmare with my cat. But one good thing that happened yesterday was my best friend, she wanted to get rid of a chair she's had for a while. And it's a big comfy chair, like an Ikea chair. So I went and got that yesterday. So I'm really excited. It's going to go in my studio. I'm hoping it's going to fit somewhere. I need to rejig and sort of figure out where I'm going to put it today. I'm also waiting for my cat to be fixed. So I need to go and collect that in... A while um, i also have some scissors that have just come as well some more scissors for restock so i'll be unboxing those so yeah let's see how far i get and if this chair fits somewhere i'm gonna reorganize my studio <laughs> So I have moved a few things around just so I can, I've freed up my desk now that I can move it around. And someone is currently sleeping right near the radiator. But um, I'm going to turn it around. I'll show you what I've done. So this wasn't here before. So I, it's still a, a, a mess. So I still need to sort that out. But um, the idea is that I'm going to move my desk and see where that goes next, so I can fit my chair in.
Now I have my chair in there. It's a little bit low, but I think it'll work. I can maybe put a cushion underneath. Everything else is still a bit of a mess, but I've put my threads up here. Um, we'll see how that goes. I don't want them to get some bleached, but I need to figure out some work and put a shelf. <laughs> but yeah, for now, I think it's pretty good. So I've got a lot more space on my desk now. So I just need to figure out a practical way of using it and put the things on I need to, and then we're good. So the plan today was just to clean up that wall behind the chair, just to take those staples out and I've polyfilled it. So tomorrow, I'm going to wait for it to dry and then tomorrow my plan is to put some of my embroidery hoops on that wall. So it's a nice backdrop. So yeah, I'm waiting for that to dry tomorrow. The past few nights I've been doing the back stitch for the jacket I showed you at the beginning. So basically I've just been doing the back stitch for the letter outlines with three strands of black. So I'm going to show you my progress and then I'm going to do some stitching. So this is what I've got so far. So I've done the most of it. I'm hoping it's, I find it really easy to read. So I'm hoping other people do as well. So I'm just going to, next I'm going to do the stitching spirit at the top. So I'm going to do that now. So I think I'm going to end the vlog there. Thank you for watching. Next week, my plan is to, um, I'm going to be releasing four free patterns within my newsletter. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please 
please do. Um, I'll leave a link below or you can go to my website. It's all on there. Every, every week there'll be a free pattern because it's National Embroidery Month in February. Um, so that's my plan for that. Um, obviously, I'll be finishing the jacket within the next vlog, maybe the vlog after, depending on how long it takes. I will also be doing a bit more organising within my studio, um, just getting the background set up, getting the embroideries behind the chair, things like that. Um, so yeah, please look out for the next one. Like I say, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see when the alphabet stick and stitches come out. Other than that, thank you very much. See you next time.